Hello, and welcome to Verse Drawn Carriage. My name is Marin, and I write things. I'm Tina, and I'm here to be awkward and draw things. And today, we've got an interesting project. Um, Tina yeah. tipped me off to this Pokemon card design challenge that's going on right now. Um, yeah contest and you can get your art on a card yeah so i'm just here today to brainstorm i don't have a ton of writing to do i might zoom off and do my own unrelated poem at some point but um let me pull up we've got a list here of the pokemon that you can feature um it was it was mostly pretty popular ones. It was like um, Pikachu and Greninja, and a bunch of others. Where'd it go? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pull this over so people can see it. We've got Bulbasaur, Charizard, Pikachu. I don't know how to say this one. Arcan Arcanine. Like That's how I say fire cat. Um Cromarant? I've never seen this Pokemon in my life. Um I, I, me neither. I think it's one of the newest of the newest generation. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. And then Greninja, Scizor, and Galarian Rapidash. So these are the options. And the theme is a moment in a Pokemon's daily life. So like Greninja brushing his teeth could be fun, because what is that ton even doing? Um, I love that. Or like, um, Galarian Rapidash doing something with their horn. Maybe it needs to be shined or sharpened or something. Um, my strategy was to do the one that the least other contestants were doing, but I don't know what everyone else is doing. Yeah. So I guess I'll just one thing. It's hard. It's it's hard because no one's gonna do Pikachu, right? Because everyone's gonna think everyone's gonna do Pikachu. Or maybe or just, maybe the reverse will happen. And I know. Everyone is. It's so hard. Pikachu. It's so hard. Um. I do like Greninja. I just think they're cool. I think my best bet is to just look at whatever Pokédex, whatever the Pokédex entries say for these guys and yeah. base something off of what I need. Yeah. While it is young, it uses the nutrients that are stored in the seed on its back in order to grow. But also, the seed slowly grows larger. Where are all those nutrients coming from? Photosynthesis. Let's see. I'll just have like a Bulbasaur sunbathing. That's cute. That's very cute. That will be my first sketch. Yeah, do, sketch that out. Do it, I dare you. I'm gonna look up some Pokemon, I mean Pokedex entries for Scizor. See what's up with those hands. What do you need those pinchers for? What are those? Why does it have an eye on it? Please explain. Scizor is a red, metal, ant-like Pokemon. Is it ant-like? I guess. With yellow and black patterns on its pincers that resemble an eye pattern. Okay, yeah. 
It stands on two legs and has a pair of small wings located on its back, which are used to control its body temperature rather than flying. That's interesting. It doesn't fly? It does not fly. It evolves from bug flying type Scyther, thus losing its flying type around, upon evolution. Oh my god. I, I just had one of those moments like when people learned that Charizard isn't actually dragon type. Yeah. Oh my god. My life is a lie. <laughs> Let's see. Pokedex entries. It swings its eye-patterned pincers up to scare its foes. This makes it look like it has three heads. Its wings are not used for flying. They are flapped at high speeds to adjust its body temperature. Tries to make itself look like a high dragon. Going for a dojo vibe. Yeah, I can't, most of these are just repeating those two facts over and over in different words. Yeah. Either people are not very creative in creating new lore, or they're just lazy. <laughs> it has pincers that are hard as steel, it flaps its wings for body temperature, and it, has, it pretends to have three heads. Those are the facts about this Pokémon that exist. Because the question I have, are they when they say daily life, do they mean like in the wild and the grass, or like once they've been caught and they're like at someone's house? I don't know. I guess you could interpret it either way. I think in someone's house is probably cuter. That's my opinion. There's more objects at least. I'll draw some tulips, Excellent. like a, in a garden. Excellent. Very good. Now I'm going to look up Greninja's Pokedex and see what's up with him. Frickin' frog, scarf, on motherfucker. Come on. What, what's your deal? It's known as the ninja Pokemon. That tracks. That sh sure, sure. It creates throwing stars out of compressed water. When it spins them and throws them at high speed, these stars can spit met split metal in two. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon are just like that. They're just like that. Fuck steel, just, honestly. Everything can but get through steel. Yeah, they're they're just like fuck everything, man. I'm going to be every single Digimon is just the ultimate mm -hmm. force of nature. Mm -hmm. Except the ones who aren't. But those ones are a little few. Maybe Greninja has to do something to prepare the throwing stars. Like, what if he's got, like, a ice tray that he keeps in the fridge? <gasps> or, like, I don't know. I don't know how you compress water. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but maybe maybe a little, a new Greninja has to, like, practice that. Like, just, just a, a, a little Greninja at a kitchen sink like pressing their hands together trying to compress the water. With like a few failed lumpy throwing stars around them. Maybe it has 
maybe a mix of sheets of ice and then folds them like origami. Yeah, just looking at an origami book, trying to figure out how to fold water. Or maybe not at a sink. Maybe more like they have a bucket of water that they're sitting crouching next to and just like scooping it up, trying to make it work. Time to Google image search for a ninja. <laughs> yes. They, they've got a lot of foldy, bendy limbs they do. Very crouchy sort of guy. Very. There's something significant about their joints, but I don't know what to say about them. <laughs> I know, right? Like, they aren't lanky and they aren't angular, but they're in that zone of words and concepts. They're a frog ninja, is what they are. That's an excellent Bulbasaur you've drawn, also, I do want to say. Okay, I'm gonna go look up Charizard, cause like I kind of know what their deal is, but good to good to check. I can't figure out what a Greninja is. What are all these shapes? There are a lot of shapes in a Greninja. This is true. Oh, what are all these head bits? What's going on here? Oh, you look like an alien. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it would also be cute to have a Charizard learning how to fly. Because, like, Charmander and Charmeleon don't have wings or the flying type. And then suddenly you're a Charizard and you gotta figure all that out. I hope I'm not messing up the stream by clicking in and out of my thing. No, <laughs> I need it looks to... fine on my end. Cool. Okay, so I'm learning that this, this Pokemon causes a lot of forest fires, is what I'm learning from these Pokedex entries. Bound to happen when you're a walking fire hazard. Mm -hmm. If everyday task for a Char Charizard is um, buying new fire extinguishers. And checking the batteries in a fire alarm, like the, the smoke detector. Oh my god, imagine constant fire alarms. You. You're saying we're wonky then, just star. Oh goodness. They're cute.
I'm going to start writing down my random ideas. Uh, Photosynthesis. And then I also suggested Greninja preparing throwing stars for later. And there's Charizard. I think I'm spelling all of these wrong, but that's fine. They're made up words anyway. Uh, Charizard learning slash practicing flying. And then also Charizard. Uh, something fire safety, like get gathering fire extinguishers. Or something. I'm great at ideation. I just say or something, and that's and that's that. Now I'm gonna figure out what the heck is up with this pelican guy. Cram around. I don't know why, but I looked at it and I was like, blue-footed booby. Yeah. But, uh, it, that, that's the right vibe, it, I think. Okay, so what I'm learning is this guy is an idiot. Because oh. it says, it's so strong that it can not knock out some opponents in a single hit. But it also may forget what it's battling mid-fight. And this hungry Pokemon swallows Aracuda whole. Occasionally it makes the mistake and tries to swallow a Pokemon other than its preferred prey. The slightest shock is sometimes enough to get this Pokemon to spit out the Aracuda lodged in its throat. This this guy's just just a fool who eats Aracada. I guess when you're that powerful. Just a very powerful idiot, this bird is. It's a himbo. It's the himbo of the Pokemon world, turns out. You should draw like a little stack of the stars they've already made. They're they're preparing. Maybe like a bucket of water on one side and I guess they can probably make their own water. I don't know how water Pokemon work. But a bucket is cuter. Maybe they're like camels, they can just store a lot of water. Yeah. He looks so thoughtful in this color, just contemplating all the Pokemon he's going to throw stars at and make faint. Only if I could draw proper ninja stars. <laughs> That's it. He's not good at it yet, he's practicing. They're a little lumpy. It's okay, they could still be melee weapons. <laughs> They're like, like keys. <laughs> oh my god, building ninja stars like keys. <laughs> All right, who else haven't I looked up yet? I haven't looked up Arcanine, so let's let's see what his deal is. Yeah, 
It's known as the legendary Pokemon, which seems messed up, but okay. Must be a folklore thing. Yeah. It says a Pokemon that has been admired since the past. That's very specific. For its beauty. It run it runs agilely as if on wings. And then a lot of these are about it being fast and running a lot. So maybe it needs to like it doesn't wear clothes, but it could have running shoes. Or just like just like the maybe Pokemon. It, Maybe it car maybe it needs to carbo load. Maybe it just eats a lot of spaghetti. What do runners do? I don't know. Like Pokemon protagonist, it needs it too needs running shoes to run. Yes. Let's see. Okay, so the only ones I haven't looked up now are Pikachu, Galarian Rapidash, and Bulbasaur. But I think you looked up Bulb you were reading from Bulbasaur. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I'm gonna look up Galarian Rapidash. That's very specific. All the rest are just like general Pokemon, but then it's like, no, the Galarian one. Okay. Interesting. It's because in the Kanto region, there's there's a rapid dash and it's different. <laughs> Interesting. Learning so much today. Yeah, they have they have different like Pokemon that have different regional forms now. Mm -hmm. This is becoming real biology. Okay, this one is also fast. This one, the big thing is just loves to run. It can gallop at a top speed of 150 miles per hour. So may maybe, it, and you can't tell in the design, it might have horseshoes. Maybe it needs to get those put on. What does a fire extinguisher look like? I'm so dumb. <laughs> I've never had to use one. I have no idea. There's like a tube that you point at the fire. Like a hosey thing. That's right, there's a tube! Yes, don't forget the tube. Tube is important. This Charizard is making me laugh. This is like, oh. He's like, oh my god. What have I done? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, round. Round bod. Round bod. I did just Charizard is just a blob now. That's canon. <laughs> that's, that's what he is. Just like he set a couch on fire and he's going to going to fix it. This is a responsible not dragon. Is 
the downsides of having a tail that's literally on fire. <laughs> Always on fire, yes. I drew him so big. So big, I love him. They're also not even big, they're like five feet tall. Oh my god, that changes so much. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god. What an educational the, stream. I you thought look at their the picture and, they, and there's no scales, so they just look all majestic and huge. And then you look up their data. And they're like five feet I am tall. taller than Charizard. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Okay, only by a little bit, but still. Excellent. Good to know. I thought I might write a poem today, but instead I'm just learning Pokemon facts, <laughs> and this is fine. I'm getting educated over here. You could just you could just like spend a day reading Pokebex entries. I could. But what if I don't want to? Uh, how how That's about fair. that? It's it's fun to not know things, because then I get to learn them one at a time. And it's fun. Oh, Oh, I did the foolish thing. Oh no, Don't his tail is green. Oh no. That's fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. I love that. <laughs> Just this fiery creature with a fire extinguisher. What a mood. I hope it doesn't look oversaturated on your end. I don't know. I don't understand your words, fancy art lady. I hope the colors aren't too bright because that happens. Mm. I do really like the idea of a Greninja having to make the stars beforehand. That's just very cute to me. Um, just gotta have him in the little bag for later. For throwing. Like human ninja. I don't think humans make their throwing. I think that's someone else's job. But I could be wrong. I'm not a ninja. Now I'm just imagining, like, may maybe their ninja star production is secret. And then when they are in battle with people, witnesses, they're like, oh my god, they just produce, they just produce these ninja stars, like, <laughs> out of thin air. Gotta keep up the lie. That's why they have to be so sneaky and ninja-like, so no one knows that they can't just magically produce ninja stars on this on the spot. This sounds like the plot of like a a Pokemon short, like the Greninja who couldn't make their own ninja stars, like with their own magical power. Uh -huh. So they have to finesse it. They have to be sneaky. Yeah, that could be a comic, for sure.
they've just become more cartoony over time. Mm -hmm. Who's next? Uh, the dumb bird. The dumb bird. The dumb bird. The stupid, absolute idiot of a bird. Himbo. Himburb. Burb. What should the oh, himburb be doing? I was just gonna like do a kind of pelican thing where it's like, ah, and there's a fish. Yes, good. But maybe it's not a fish in there because it's so dumb. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe something it's like a, else. Is there like a candy wrapper or something? <laughs> Some sort of Pokemon object? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it can be like the Lickitung in one episode of the anime. We just started eating everything, including clothes. <laughs> what a dummy. Just put like a whole phone, an old style phone in there. <laughs> Excellent. Why was there a phone in the ocean? Don't worry about it. He thought it was a fish. What would be really funny if there was like a fish, a fish like, um, like a toy or something and it picked it up. Mm -hmm. Like a boat, like a plastic boat. Or, uh, I don't know. Or something that's just like fish shaped because you know how like. I don't know how to describe what I'm thinking. Like a wind-up toy fish? One of those where the tail goes side to side? Like products that are... Like that a... are shaped different to sure. be like fun. Like sure. Fish-shaped fish bowls. Like, I, I once saw When that. I was a kid, I had a fish-shaped Tupperware that I only ate fish crackers out of. And it was my Something favorite. Like that. Yeah. Their wings are so small. <laughs> what a dummy. Oh my god, the eye. Like, ah! It has to be exaggerated. Oh, it's so fluffy, though. It is very fluffy. This is a fact. A dumb, handsome bird. Mm -hmm. Birds are very interesting animals. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen an ugly bird. Birds are great. Yeah. I saw a really pretty, like, goose once with, like, a purple beak. Ooh. I got a, a pretty good picture of it. It was great. I wish I knew more about birds. Like, could identify them. Me too. I'm like, I'm I like, enjoy animal. Yeah, I enjoy animal and animal science so much. But but then when I really think about it, I'm just like, you know, I haven't paid much attention to like the non-terrestrial animals. Mm -hmm. What are birds? Why do I know so little about birds? Birds. They fly sometimes. They swim sometimes. Most of them walk around. Have you seen burrowing owls? They're like the cutest, the cutest owls. And they burrow in little holes and they're so cute. Um, that, that's all I have to say on bur burrowing <laughs> owls. Just they're very cute and good and I love them.
I only think of like the weird, the especially weird birds, like what are they called? No. The shoe bill. Ah, uh, yes. Shoe bills are great. They look very fun. Do you have, is that your favorite bird, do you think? The shoe bill? I don't know. I I don't really pick like favorite animals or favorite birds. I kinda just I kinda just like them all. Good, good. I it's probably like it's like a collector mentality from mm -hmm. my years of playing Pokemon to fill the decks. Uh-huh. Oh, I'll just accept anything, uh -huh. as long as we're mine. <laughs> My favorite animal right now is the octopus. It used to be the platypus. Very good, strange animals. Yes. How do you even, like, become a platypus or octopus? How do you come to existence? How does anything come to existence, man? <laughs> Why are we here? Why, why, why do humans come to existence? That's so weird. One of the weirdest things to me is that we're the only humans. Well, we didn't used to be. Yeah, that's the thing. We, we, they all died. Probably our fault, or they just like combined with us, or both. Like, in fantasy, there's, like, all these other human-like races, and maybe if history went a little differently, that could be us today. Yeah. That would be nice, I think. I mean, not that we're doing great with just having different races, but, you know, eventually. I love this idiot bird. Very pretty green eyes. Yes. Handsome dumb bird. Yes. Very handsome dumb bird. <laughs> I don't know how you decided it would be a phone in his beak, but I'm glad you did. I just wanted I just wanted something that definitely doesn't belong there. Yeah, you did it. After this one, you want, we'll have a nice even four, so maybe we could zoom out and, yeah. Look at that, that's nice. Finish up the Bulbasaur a bit. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to go get some food, is what I'm going to do. Pretty soon here. Uh, thank you for streaming with me. Yeah, this turned out really fun. Yeah. And thank you for watching, if anyone ever does. Uh, if if there's a, anybody out there. Have a good day. <laughs>